The development of nearby Hilton Head Island has changed the face of the South Carolina coast probably for all time. When a brash young law student named Charles Fraser visited this remote and beautiful place in the 1950s, its few inhabitants were people not unlike the family of Leroy Brown, living off what they could farm and get from the sea. As he contemplated this landscape, Fraser envisioned houses, streets, marinas, golf courses, a complete city blended into the land and water. His concept was ridiculed by many, but today, Charles Fraser has proven his idea many times over. His way of doing business may seem informal, but Charles Fraser knows how to put a deal together. Phase one will carry Arrowwood across the road, make the curve, put in the golf course, put in the chapel, uh, put in the polo fields, uh, and we'll have available... As you know, I'm specifically interested in that uh, 16 or 17 acre yes. commercial track. And, and fortunately, I have other... other uh, excellent people who are interested in it as well and i hope that you will pay as much as they'll pay because if you will uh, then i'd love to have you as the, as the buyer uh, when charles fraser speaks it is with conviction and fervor development essentially means providing houses for people who've got to have a house now how we do that is the issue do we do it in a responsible fashion that looks five years ahead that looks 20 years ahead now, in coastal development, for recreation areas and retirement areas, development here means keeping out ugliness that seems to follow the flow of traffic. Where the American tourist goes, the rampant ugliness of the billboard industry, the rampant ugliness of the sign industry, the rampant ugliness of the, uh, the fast food industry, just literally create chaos in the environment around you. How do you keep them away is the issue. Hilton Head, by now over 25 years old, remains the benchmark by which all subsequent development has been measured. Indeed, the style which Charles Fraser created has been imitated up and down the coast of the United States and influenced a generation of land development. I, uh, I'm not against development there are certain parts of this island that are so beautiful that, that can be developed so that the, the natural beauty of this island still remains. But not to, not to push away an Agnes house back there. It's just something man cannot recreate. It's impossible. It's just a, a gorgeous situation and a very productive situation. I, I appreciate it much more now that I've been in the business that I look at the marsh I realize it's not just the beauty, there's something growing there, there's something positive happening, and I hope it's something that we're not destroying. I believe very passionately that one's duty is to dress and keep the earth, protect it for the next generation and the next generation. Best time of day when the tide is coming oh. in like this. So a great question looms on the South Carolina coast, how to create what is needed without destroying that which cannot be replaced.